mystery without even telling us one can discover that the water the way is gushing out from the rock is enough to tell us that it's mystery on its own but the most important thing is that if somebody is ill or is having any ailment or impairment once they go to that water, pray to the water, give it to that person, the person will definitely heal. That's make it a mystery to us. The water became popular around 1958. When the late of Stephen Adesami Adelson was in store, it was a learned oba, educated oba, so immediately it was installed. He started taking records of people coming to that place. He met the government. He told them that there is a tourist center in his place, but the, the government of Western State then didn't take cognizance of what the man was saying. They had already known that we have tourist center in that place. But it's only they didn't put up anything there to interest people. He even installed somebody to take care of the water. And that wise, the government knew that we have tourist center in that place. But you know, the tourist of the thing was not popular in those days. Unlike today now that uh, you hear of uh, tourists up and down. But uh, the Oyimbo people that came that time, they knew. And they were the people that keep on telling their friends. That is, uh, there's wonderful water somewhere, there's wonderful seeds, wonderful things. So the Oyimbo people, people will come down to have a look, go back, have a look, go back. Then you see many of them coming because you know, Igbo people, they, they, they have interest on, in those things than we black people. That impressed the other then, that 
why this so you go people have interest in this water so it was from there the about start telling people on the radio writing inside paper that uh, we have tourist center here that people are going to come and help to develop is one of the major visited sites in Nigeria today. And at Erinjesha, we are just developing Erinjesha. You see that it's not a full-fledged tourism destination, just communal. But despite that, it's not a full-fledged tourism destination because of the nature that we have there, the kind of nature. And we want to look at it, at that corridor of Olumari Waterfall, we see how some two other falls along that corridor though at a very distant space to each other. But we have some other for like Ajilongu, Ajimodoko waterfall and one other. In our show, we have about 63 tourist attractions yet to be developed to a destination. We look at Nwala Dam, we look at Kiriji War Sites, we look at uh, Oshoshobu, we look at uh, Igila, we look at uh, Enrijesha and some other sites. Presently, we have Olumere that gives most of the revenue being generated from any tourist attraction because Olumiri is more appealing to tourists than so many other sites that we have. Like uh, Ayukunuga Waterfall. Ayukunuga Waterfall is opposite of that of Olumiri Waterfall. We, because it, the place is far, the road is not well, so we don't have turnout as per tourist at that place. But all the same, I can say the 30% of revenue being generated in Russia is from tourism attractions. On that, I want to say, we get to Indonesia today, the 95% of those who are working there, they are from that local community. Local community. I talk about Gazebo the other time. The Gazebo and some other recreational facilities that we have, the one that we built, the one we want to build, the, the, the artisans that do all this, they are from that community. Everything we do there, we make sure that it is being done and we employ only the community that will do it. In anything that we do, look at the toilets. We just build our toilets, we just build our changing room. Still the community that do it. Everything that we have there is basically the community effort that we use. Oumu <laughs> Christmas. So Let's go. 
In this market, we sell various items such as food items like rice, beans, and so on. People from other parts of the country, the not Igbede, Ibira, Kogi, Oyo, Ilesha, Ipetu, comes here to buy and sell. Today being a market, economic activities in the town grows. Commercial bike operators also record percentage as the community of the different villages and towns to market activities. What we need for the economic activity of this town to increase is for the government to make the road to the waterfall to be motorable. Also make available mini buses and tricycle to commute people to the waterfall. They need to build shops and hotels for those who want to relax and even have honeymoon. The business activities in the town came to the odd during the midnight month. Those who sell items like charcoal and oil around the waterfall could no longer sell. Now that the lockdown has been eased, things are returning to normal. People come to the waterfall every day of the week, but their presence at the waterfall has little or no impact on the economic activities of the town, especially this market. But directly into my business, I'm not earning anything from waterfall. And it doesn't even affect my business. Because most of the time that they show that will view that will broadcast matches here, it's at times we broadcast matches at night. And people don't come to waterfall at night. If for adventure we have hotels and other places that will make that will keep tourists down here or that will make them sleep here, we'll be able to who will still enjoy that same benefit because people that will sleep over they will still come to see other things around the town where they will know that there is a view center where we will gain from them too. But I can say it that waterfall for my business doesn't have any positive impact. school <laughs> That is the key or J and one in all tone, Gigi de Latima for C. In the ye, a cage in a pay this, eh? We are killing so well. So, you are on call, ye and they rule teacher now, what are for you? We are come by a seat. We are come by a seat to the hour and walk from noon from anywhere. Even one while I see Latia, I don't like the hour, what are for you? So, I make it as you put your wine, you know your poor one. So we are going to use it. We are going to use it. We change the brand. So we are going to change the brand. We are going to use it. 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 We are going to the only thing I can say is that it's about the the historic centre is yet to be well developed. So we need like hotel, swimming pool, some other tourists also ask for a lift 
because some some of them cannot climb. Some people that are supposed to reach the second or third floor, they can just stay on the road and say they are tired. So, if they are here to reach the place that we are going to snap them, they are not going to pay us. So, if the lift is there, they can just reach the place and we are going to snap them and we'll collect our money from them. Photographing in Nigeria is okay. Because we make a lot of money because of the water for that is in Nigeria. Although we can't say it, the actual amount, but it's based on how the people patronize the water for. If you have a lot of people that come to that place, we can make like five, ten, ten thousand naira a day. I am happy. The waterfall is here because uh, the waterfall uh, actually helps people to know that something like this still exists in this kind of country. I find people who come here for DJ something. Sometimes artists will come to the waterfall and do skits. They do this style. They take the results to mix and to set people out there. We have a lot of people coming down from other countries that we still have to work with them. And when we work with them, they will still remunerate us. The business is no more functioning as before. Where they, everybody hold his camera, hold his set. So what the world you want to do quickly now, somebody will just take it on the, on the set now, quickly send it to another place now. See the way we're doing things now? I'm on buy. I go on cada level and I make my money. Every time the students come here, I used to give them accommodation to, to sleep in the church hall. There is non availability of the days and uh, we have to lodge it here. But about because of that, I do help them when they come. Eko, my car, Eko, my car, Eko, my car, Eko, my car. Eko, Eko, I will have a lot. I have a lot. I do not sell a bujani. Abuja, 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 we don't have industry. We don't have. Uh, uh, there's no fishing uh, exercise on the inside the water, except uh, maybe the young ones that use hooks and uh, something to to fish. In the past, we didn't have any gain from that place. The government derives uh, revenue from Ulumen because all the money collected from Ulumen have been taken away by them. It was recently when there was an uh, intention of the government to give it out to people that our people said, you can't give it this place out, it belongs to us. And that before you can give it to people, we must have our own share. And when they refuse to agree with us, our boys sits over that place. It was later both our people and the, the government resort. And they agreed to give us uh, maybe 10% of what they get in that place. But in actual fact, we don't even know how much they are collecting from that place. And that's why we are still agitating that. We should have our people as part of the management of that place. But hmm, a lot of people are trooping into that place on a daily basis. Actually doing the recording that can give us the likely number of people coming to that place. But all we know is that people are coming in, into that place on a daily basis. As far as Kano, as far as even outside the country. You see, people are coming there. Around uh, 19, uh, 2000 and, uh, 2010 or 11, thereabouts. 
I was opportune to stay with those boys in three days. The money realized that time. <laughs> Even exposed what was going on in that place. Because in that three days, we realized nothing less than three million. Yet, we still allow people to move in without taking money from them. If, if six people come, say, okay, pay for four people. If 10 people come, pay for six people. If 20 people come, they pay for 10 people. And yet, the money is not as high as this. And now presently they are taking 1,000 naira. I don't know, I've not been there. But that time we were taking just 200 naira and 100 naira. The young one, 50 naira. Elderly person, 200 naira. That was what brought the problem. That, okay, is this what is happening here? Then we decided to send those government officials off. We later resort and they agreed to kick us off. As big as this community is now, we have only one transformer. And it was bought by the community. From the money realized then, from waterfall. So the, 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 the community is neglected by the government, yet they come down to take our money. Or maybe the, the money collected from yourself does not even get to the government post. Because all I know is that if money is coming from a place, the government should know that. That place needs to be developed. The fall, as I see it, is still like a raw good, waiting to be tapped. As far as I'm concerned, it has not been tapped. It is a very sorry case that the government did not realize the enormous resources that is being deposited here that they can tap because they are still collecting allocations for the federal government. I pray the oil will depend on dry oil so that we can look the other side and see where we can generate it. What are some other countries that live on tourism? So why can't we do something so that we can then fund for this tourism and all of us will be happy? Both the community, the local government, the state government, and the federal government. I've never seen anywhere in the world whereby government operate tourist center. It is not their business to operate tourist center. All they need to do is to provide the enabling environment for investors to come and invest. But the authorizing board are being in control, total control. And that's why investors are not encouraged to come. The enabling environment is make the place accessible. Is the place accessible? Yes or no? Because the roads to the falls are not good. About three years ago, they came to pick off the 1.5 kilometer road from the center of the town to the fall. Just 1.5. They told us the road will be completed within three months. Going to three years now, the roads still remain uncompleted. All what they did is just the drainage and filling. And all those filling have been washed away by rain. So when there is no good access, how do you expect investors to come? When there is no security, how do we expect investors to come? In this time, we only have a police post, manned by two policemen, which will not be found at the station 95% of the time. They will tell you their boss has called them at the station, at the station, to be booking for one assignment to do it. That is not good enough. We do have a single hospital in this town. What we have is just a maternity center, primary care. There's an next center that has been under construction for more than 30 years now, during the time of Bolide, since the bush there, it's yet to be completed. As they are appealing and appealing to the government, nothing has been done. So it is, people need a new environment. What if somebody happened to have a fall at the waterfall? So he won't get any first aid treatment until you take him to Elisha or Shogo or effect. So those are the things that the investor will be looking at. Are you saying it is the investor that should build a future? So the government need to play their part so that they can attract investors to this side. Like other tourist centers all over the world. We are restrained from uh, the kind of uh, investors that we come, they will build, they will operate. 
at the end of 25 or 50 years they will transfer. Where we state gain from that? Even though that we are looking at it from that angle, the investors that we have at hand, they are more than 20. But we want something that will be immediate money revenue generation for the state. So we are looking at a, an investor that maybe you contribute your maybe 50 50 percent or 40 50 50 percent. But presently, we have more than 20 investors in the state that we wanted to work with us. But we are looking at the area in which government will be able to do all this by itself. The whole of this community have just one single issue, and we are appealing to government to provide more, maybe two or three, to augment what we have. As we speak, the electricity don't get to the waterfall. There's no electricity. If anybody wants to go and probably do his body at the waterfall, you have to go with your generator to power your sound system or whatever you want to do. The photographers that are operating around here, they, they, they use generator. Our roads are bad. Starting from the express road through the town to the fall, a lot of potholes. So, what do you call social amenities? The water we drink are not good. Our power water that was uh, that we started having since 1957, thereafter, is a raw water from the waterfall that was made possible by the Fadansi in the old western state. Raw water, they look like a book, brownish. That's how we'll be drinking it, untreated. A short while ago, they came, they said they are, they are adding uh, coagulants to the fall. Is that water treatment? The EU came and built a mini water treatment there. But it was not put to use. It's been allowed to water away. Um, why do people come to fall? It's not just to have a fill of the waterfall. Do you think people will come to the waterfall, they won't have a fill, they won't shower? They will shower into that water and we still drink that water. It was COVID-19 that woke us up to the hazard of drinking polluted water. The Asuntian water population abandoned us for more than a year now. They are not maintaining the carbon water for us. Why? They came to me and they said they wanted to start collecting water rate in Europe. I said, good. Very good innovation. That's how it is being done everywhere. But if you want to do that, you got to treat that water, not the dirty water. My people is not going to pay for dirty water. I went as far as meeting the deputy government, Benedict Alabi, and explained my position with several other issues to him last year, October. Even after that, they still abandoned us to our fate. If any pipe busted there now, it is the responsibility of the community to fix it. So tell me, what are we enjoying? The government are only interested in our money, get fees. The real average of 1.4 to 1.6 million every month for the gateways to this waterfall. That is when the gateway is 500 for adults and 300 naira for children. But now they've increased it to 1,000. You can imagine the amount of money they'll be cutting away from this time. So, what are we getting from it? My palace is nothing to write to me about this in my personal house. So, we are being treated as if we are not part of the state. When I look at the educational infrastructures, I feel like weeping because I grew up in this town. My primary school is in this town, not in the middle primary school in Georgia. If you go there now, you won't even know there's a school there. But most of the building has been demolished, and the school is now hidden behind the Anglican church. The same thing with the secondary school and community primary school that I attended. Between and uh, Grammar School, being the highest educational institution in the community, was founded on uh, September 38th, 1974. Uh, it was serving the secondary education need of both NOK and education. That was why at the inception it was named a community grammar school early. So it was co hosted by the two communities until 1982 when they founded the Record Room High School. It is this happening seeing the degree of decay 
of facilities in the school in terms of both uh, human and material resources. When you get to the school and you look at the government uh, teachers' payroll, you discover that the school is having less than eight permanent teachers from the government. So those teachers, many of the teachers you see on grant in the school are being sponsored by philanthropists and some of the old students. So in terms of uh, manpower, the school is seriously in need. Then when it, when it comes to infrastructural facilities, there is nothing to write home about, if not because of the effort of the community and some well-to-do old students of the school. There was a time before I became king that the youth got angry and seized the waterfall from the concern that the government put in attack us. Do you realize average of 6.5 million in a space of three months? That is minus the little one that the youth might take from it. To. It was from that morning that we were able to reroof the dilapidated structures of their secondary school. And we were able to use part of it to buy another transformer because the only transformer that we have is just fine. And government cannot help us. So if we were allowed to run the waterfall ourselves and pay tax to the government, that would be a perfect arrangement. I made that suggestion to Governor Raul Farabi when he was here. After I came on board when I went to visit him, if he could allow us to run it, I will bring the rest of it. We will run it. We we'll generate from and pay with tax. Tell us how much that we go to pay. We'll be transparent. Now they are the one running it. They are not transparent to us. I don't know how much they are donating. They said it's government secret. I don't know which percentage they are giving the community. They are just giving us whatever they like. I think 70,000, 100,000, 120,000. What percentage of that? Okay, how many percentage? If you say it is 5%, okay, 5% of what? I don't know. Am I not a stakeholder? So there's a lot of things we'll be trying to stomach. Though in the past, the way we do it is this. We have the community being given some percentage which I may not be able to announce. Then we have the, the, the about two shifts from the from the community that were given the sales of tickets purely. But now we want to rebrand, which we have started. We started this December one. At the end of the month, the money generated from that site. A percentage will go to Kavisi, a percentage will go to the community, the local governments. Why those that we've given the, the sense of ticketing to will still maintain them? We have four in the past, now we've reduced them to two, just to make them feel comfortable, to feel that, that they own that tourist attraction. So every people in the community will be able to have one thing or the other to benefit from hosting that tourist attraction. Government cannot provide anything for us. They can't provide everything. We got to help ourselves. But funny enough, we are not helping ourselves. I could tell you for free, we have a lot of work to do with the from this time. Starting from uh, Pastor W.F. Kumi, the University of Deeper Life, he could come down and help us and do something. We have Mr. John Amoto Shakale, he tell the Deputy Director in Lima Bank who is well to do. We even gave him a portion of land close to the waterfall when he said he wanted to build a church. But nothing has been built. We have some. Other EDG too, who bought land close to the waterfall. Nothing has been done. We don't know why they are being scared. Good. And we don't want to do anything. I will continue to appeal to them. And I will continue to appeal to outside investors.
both an injector and an injector waterfall, which we do call Olumini waterfall, is part and parcel of Oriade local government, situated in Ijesa North Federal Constituency. To this Olumini waterfall, and it has been developing. On a daily basis, people are trooping in to come and see the wonderful work of God in Enigesa. So with this, the developmental project in that place is very uh, rapid and the Enigesa community uh, revenue is going up. You can see the, you can see the road Lindy from the express road to Enigesa. It's very good now. From the community down to that Enigesa waterfall, you can see the road. Which is very commendable. And in this, it's one of the priority of the Ministry of Culture in the state of Washington, in which a developmental project is there now. That you yourself you can see it when you're on the ground. And just as before, and just as no much uh, popular, uh, they don't have much population uh, in the NGSA. But now, when the government has been doing a wonderful things there, the population in the have increased. My first recommendation would be for the government to release this waterfall to the community to manage and pay tax to the government. If they are not disposed to that, they should invite investors. After providing a neighborly environment to develop this place, develop an MOU with the investors, the community, and the government that will be implemented to the letter so that the glory of this place will shine forth. Governments will also help us in uh, increasing or improving the dilapidated infrastructures in our school. But that is general all over the country, not only in this place. The state of our school is a nice one. I've also been appealing to people to help us in that respect. As we speak, we don't have more than uh, four government paid teachers in the whole of, in the whole of secondary school. The rest are either PTA teachers or teacher employed by Honorable Ulu Oyoke, and at times some Empower and NYC. That should not be. Are you expecting we just one teacher to be teaching uh, five subjects or six subjects? It's, it's, it's not done. During my time, we have one teacher per subject. English teacher is an English teacher. Mathematics teacher is a mathematics teacher. Physics teacher is a physics teacher. But the story is no longer the same. Erin has been in a system since in the inception of the community is the discovery of Erinjesha that brought the community up to this stage. That is one. Then, in terms of uh, the consultant or whoever that has managed the site, you know, government go, government come, government go, government come. We have so many investors, so many consultants, I mean, that have managed the site. That is according to the governor in place at any given time. So we as civil servants, we now have control over that. But we have. We have some people that have done so well. We have some people that also aspired to do more, to do well. But presently, if you look at Otto Olumere, in the year past, maybe 15 years back, or 10 years back, let's say 15 years back, if you are going to Olumere, it's in a raw place, raw stage. But if you get to Olumere now, you see steer right from the beginning of the site. We now have gates, which we don't have before. We have steer up to second level. Then we have gazebo, like I said. That is internal, international building that did that work for us. Then we have some other producing company that are still coming up. But as I'm talking to you now, we have stayed, we have stayed up to the second level at Indonesia Waterfall. 
we expect any tourist that is coming to you know, to follow ACDC protocol. That's face mask, uh, hand wash, sanitizer, infrared testing of uh, uh, temperature and some other things. That is all. Then when you are coming to Lumeri, you come into Lumeri as a tourist who is ready to abide with rules and regulation. As the tourist guide at that site will guide you. Then we also expect that when you are coming to Lumeri, we have a car park. Make use of the car park. Then we have a changing room now, which I forgot to mention the other time. We have a changing room. You don't need to expose yourself at the floor by changing your clothes or some other things. We go to that changing room. We have a toilet. Initially or before now, people do mess around. But now we have a toilet. People can make use of that toilet. Then we have our gazebo. People can go there to relax. The gazebo provides shade for everybody. Then we have a mini, a mini cafe area, which people can go to. Maybe they want to play a game, they want to play table tennis and some other things. All these are in place now. Then the the the, the way we do our ticketing now is quite different from how we do we did it in the past. Now you can get your ticket from office. You can get your ticket from our marketers, which we have at our different places. Then when you get there, don't make sure that you register that ticket. You put down your name. In case of any eventuality, you can go on to whatever you want to do. Now we have our first aid at the site. So if there's anything, you can call the attention of the tour guide. They give you whatever you need. To get into sites today is 1,000 Naira for adults. While we have 500 Naira for our children. Then the car park is 300 naira. Tomorrow, after adding some other things, I don't know what price we might put on it. But presently, we have 1,000 naira for adults, 500 naira for our children, and 300 naira for car park. The gazebo and some other facilities is free for now. But when we have some other things like a recreational fair center, a game village, the mountaineering, and some other things. We might add another money or put another money for all this. But presently, we have it 1,500 children. We have collaboration with some corporate organizations to train our tour guide, to train tour escort, to train the tour operator, in which we, we give opportunity to every tourist, every community that hosts a tourist attraction, in which Eredesha is not exempted. In fact, we gave, instead of giving 10, we gave 10 to other communities, but Eredesha, we gave 20 slots to them, in which we are going to train them for this, the photography, uh, how to film, and some other things like you mentioned. They are going to start the coordination Apart from tour guide, the coordination of tour, the maintenance of all these facilities that we have in grant. Then if you get to Eritasha, you want to shoot film, they are the ones that will guide you. These are the places you can go to. These are the places you cannot go to. These are the things you can do. The use of generator, we prohibited some areas where you cannot use generator. These are the people we've trained to manage all this I've mentioned. The Honorable Commissioner that we have now, ever since he came on board, even before he came here as the Commissioner, the, his first assignment, which is Home Affairs, he nurtured the program, which we call Kareli Udwa. The Kareli Udwa is Yoruba, traditional religion and national pilgrimage. It's like when we are talking about Jerusalem, when we are talking about Tunica. So we want to dovetail that of traditional to your show. We have the first edition last year, halfway, because we only test strong last year. So we have, this is an international program. We are expecting so many people. If, if I can even say it is on this platform that we have so many investors trooping into our show. Uh, wow, you can, have, you can fashion out this allowable program. So we have so many people 
coming in as far as that Karidudwa program is concerned. Because the site is domiciled in their own community, they need to wash over it more than we do. And the, for the fact that their water is from that source, they need to wash over it more than we do. It's an opportunity for them. You look the kind of employment they generate from their community, you need the, the kind of social amenities that it will bring to them. And you see the kind of cultural exchange, so many things and some other things. So what basically we are requesting from them is maintenance and supervision so that there won't be any crisis, there won't be any problem, so that their community will not be lack, will not be lacked by it. If other tourist attractions, the government begin to develop them now. Despite that, we only still have that natural water. At the, and at that same corridor, we have some other natural water. Presently, I said before the end of next year, or in two years' time, that hotel you mentioned, that hospital, even the police post and some other things, the good roads and some other things we are working on it before the end of next year, or possibly because before the end of these two two years of Mr. Governor, everything will be in place and we have perfect tourist attraction. Okay. There should be restaurants here, there should be hotel here. Some people come just come you now if you're coming from a very far they don't want to leave the same day. Nothing like that, man. nothing, nothing, nothing of such. It's crazy. Like they're, they're going to lose a lot of, you know, a lot of money because people from outside country. See what they need to just do is still get some mad photographers. See, see the structure, see the nature, and then take pictures, crazy pictures, put it on social media platform, look at this whole place, build this area, develop it, and people are going to come here. This is a very see the, the, the waterfall is crazy. There, there are seven floors here. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I even heard that you get to the seventh floor, you're gonna see a new city, a new city, a new town. So, there should be a swimming pool, a like, hotel, a lot of other nice stuff to turn this place to a, a full resort. So, I think if, if they can do that, it's going to generate a lot of revenue for them. This is my like system of coming here. So, if the government can invest here, yeah, private and public partnership, they can make as huge as 10 million per month. I know what I'm saying. I mean, I, I'm a lover of travel and tour, and I've read. Uh, little on them, so that some government can make a lot of revenue. But you still keep complaining there's no idea. They can make huge money here. Yeah. Like Foreigners will come and they love to see this place. See, the hiking side is very interesting to rest in now. When climbing it, like, it's more of an exercise. So it's for nobody will come here and regret coming here. So it's a fun place to be. The government will invest every year and they can't regret it. We are doing a very good job. Very good job. And I believe with some assistance here and there, it would be nice if after climbing all the way up, there is like um, something to bring people back down. I like don't have to climb down again, you know. Maybe like a lift or something. Just make the journey down smoother to this place. Like come and enjoy the waterfall. It's really beautiful.